Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here today, and in this tutorial, we're going to be going over the five basic transitions that everyone needs to know if they're using After Effects. So this is going to be a very beginner level uh, tutorial, so if you are an advanced user, you know you don't really need this, but thanks for clicking on the video anyway. So today we're going to be going over the pump, pan crop, rotation, offset, and shake transitions. Uh, if you want, I will have presets for these also. They're going to be in the description for free, obviously. And yeah, so let's just get right into it. So first off, you need your two clips. I'm just going to go ahead and use two pictures here. So it'll be really easy to see what we're doing to perform the transition. All right, so the first one we're going to be going over is the pump. So all you need to do is use the scaling on your, on your uh, clips here. So if you hit S on your keyboard, that'll bring that up. And then since we're going to be going into it, you're just going to keyframe the scale at 100%. You're going to go to the point where the clips switch over. And you're going to push the scale up to something that seems not too over dramatic. We're going to try, let's do 145 here, see how that looks. And then uh, about half a second later, you're going to bring it back to 100. And now you're going to highlight all of these keyframes. You're going to hit F9 on your keyboard. That's the shortcut to easy ease the keyframes. And now that they're easy eased in, we're going to go over here to the graph editor. This is going to be just to the left of the actual layer themselves. It's going to be up here. It looks like a graph. And you're going to click on the keyframes and make it look like it has a point in the middle. So the animation starts off slow and it gets fast. And then after it transitions, it'll be at its largest point when it transitions and then it quickly go back out to being uh, its normal size. So if we ram preview this real quick, you'll see what it looks like. Nice and smooth there. And then you can also play around with the handles a little bit more if you want this to happen faster, slower, over a longer period of time, you know. Alright, so after that, we're going to go ahead and do the pan crop transition. So this is where it's going to look like the image zooms in and then it's kind of pushing forward onto the next image or vice versa. That's zooming out and then coming out from the second image. So the first thing you're going to want to put on is motion tile. This is just to make sure we don't have any black edges on our composition. You're going to turn these up to about the output width and the output height to about maybe 150. Or whatever seems right to you after you play around with some of the settings. And we're going to mirror the edges so everything looks smoother. Alright, so starting about half a second again, before the transition happens, you're going to set the scale from 100. And we're going to push in on this one. So we're going to go from half a second to the point where the clip changes and we're going to push into maybe 180. All right, take that back. So right before the clip changes, that's when you're going to set that next keyframe. So it's going to go from 100 to 180. And then as soon as the clip changes, you're going to bring it out. So we're going to go from 180 out to about 70 seems fine. And then half a second later, we're going to have it return to its normal scale at 100. And then if we highlight these keyframes again, hit F9, easy ease them in, and then go back to our graph editor. We're going to make the shape look something like this. So it's going to start off slow, come in fast when it zooms in. And then after it zooms in, it's going to come out fast and then slow down. So you should have your graph looking at this little kind of heartbeat monitor type shape. So now if we ran preview this, you can see it's zooms in and it looks like it keeps zooming in into the next image. All right, awesome. And then you can do the exact same thing, vice versa. If you want it to zoom out instead and then come into the next image where it's zooming out of that image. All you gotta do is change up your graph editor here a little bit. All right, and there you can see the exact opposite. All right, perfect. So now to move on to the rotation transition, go ahead and leave motion tile on there because we'll still be using that. What you're gonna do is go ahead, hit R on your keyboard this time and it'll bring up the rotation. And so same thing again, start half a second before the clips change, keyframe your rotation, go up to right before the clips change over and you're gonna change the rotation to about negative 90 degrees so that would straight up and down we're actually going to change the values of our motion tile so it covers the whole screen a little bit better there we go 
and then right where the clips change over you're going to change it from negative 90 to the opposite of that so we'll go positive 90 degrees and then half a second later bring it back down to zero once again grab all your keyframes here easy ease them and you're going to give the same kind of heartbeat monitor type shape to the curves Same thing here, the shape is just going to give a nice, easy, smooth uh, transition to the motion. There you go, you can see it flips around, and it looks like as if the screen did a full 180 degree turn. Once again, you can flip around some of the values and have it just go in the other direction if you need that. But we're going to be moving on to our next transition, which is the offset. So here, you don't need motion tile for this one but you do need a, another effect called offset. All of these are come stock with your After Effects. And this one we're gonna ha have it happen a little bit longer. So we're gonna go to the beginning, so a second before the transition happens. And we're going to keyframe the shift center too. And then we're gonna go all the way to the end and we're gonna keyframe the shift center too again. So this can go left or right, up or down. We're gonna have this go, I don't know, what is that? We're gonna have it go down, I guess. Perfect, okay, so where you see this number says 540, you're gonna need a little bit of math here because you're gonna have to add on an exact number. So since my uh, since my composition is 10 or 1080 pixels high, we're gonna have to add on a multiple of that. So I'm gonna hit 540 plus, and then in parentheses, 1080 times four, so that way it's gonna move the picture four times down. And we're gonna click off that, It'll, After Effects will do the math for you. And now we're going to hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes for this. You're gonna select both of them. Once again, easy ease. Go back to the graph editor and halfway through where the clips change is when you want the transition to be happening the fastest. So we're gonna take these handles here and pull them all the way in towards the center or pretty close to the center at least. And this will make sure that this is happening the fastest at the transition point and it kind of eases into it, you know? And you're just gonna have to play around with these handles a little bit till it looks smooth how you want it to look. All right, so there's that transition as you can see there. And moving on to our last transition, this is called the shake. So we're gonna take offset off. We don't need this anymore. And we're actually gonna put motion tile back on for a little bit. I'm going to set this motion tile something that doesn't have to be a big number, we'll just do 150 again, and you're going to mirror the edges. Alright, so the other effect you'll be needing is called a slider control, and you'll see why in a second, because we're going to be using expressions on this. And I'm going to name the first one, frequency, or just freak, and we'll name the other one amount. All right, so you're going to go back to your picture, or you're gonna go back to your clips and hit P. And you're gonna alt click on the stopwatch here to bring up the expression controls. And you're gonna go ahead and type in wiggle, parenthesis, and then you're going to grab the pick, uh, shit, you know what I mean. You're gonna grab this pick whip tool, <laughs> and you're gonna go ahead and bring it up to the frequency, cause that's the frequency uh, controller and then you're gonna grab hit comma and then grab your pick whip tool again and bring it to the amount and then you're gonna put an ending parenthesis then you're gonna click off and that's gonna set up your controller so now if I move this um, if I move the frequency that's changing how much how many times a second the position is changing and if I hit the amount that's gonna be how many pixels it's moving perfect so if I leave these at zero and I go about half a second before the transition, before the clip change over. And I keyframe both of these and I go to one second or where the clip change. I put them to, we'll say, 50 times a second with an amount of 60 pixels. You can see it moved a little bit. And then if I go down to another half a second after the transition and put these back both back down to zero, then uh, that'll end the transition. We're gonna go ahead and hit you on a keyboard again. Select all the keyframes and easy ease them. Go into our graph editor. And then we're just gonna change these till they start slow and then uh, speed up when the transition happens and then slow down really fast to a nice smooth ending. So 
So now we got our curves looking like that. So it'll it'll start shaking very slowly, and speed it really fast, and then change. So that gives you a cool little shaking effect. You can get really over exaggerated with this if you want. Like so, if I go here and I change the amount to something crazy like 120, then it's gonna look a lot different. It's gonna shake a lot more. There you go. That might look a little bit better actually. Just it just depends on what you're trying to use it for. But anyway, if you guys want the presets, like I said, they will all be in the description. There's gonna be a, a little bit more options for you to use. If you don't really care to do this yourself, that's fine. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Soren, and I'm out. Thank you.